Hello everybody, this is Captain Jirwa bringing you another PO Live today. We are still on Pokemon Online because this is where the XYLU slash XYRU is. And yeah, so today, or I uploaded the first look into XYRU, uh, I think the day before yesterday, maybe two days ago, depending on when this is uploaded. I'm recording this at like midnight, so I have like no concept of what today is. So uh, yeah, but anyway... I already uploaded a little look into RU, and today I'm going to be bringing you another RU Live, but I'm going to be using a pretty thrown together team. As you can see, it's got an Avalog on it. This team was given to me by my friend I Smiley's Eye, aka Sev, who, uh, yeah, he just uh, made this team when we were first looking at RU, and it's just some thrown together stuff. I did edit it some because there were some things to be, that needed to be changed. But the Avalog is still there. And yeah, basically, uh, this team just kind of has a bunch of offensive threats. And it's got this kind of defensive core of Slowking and Avalog. Because Slowking can take all the fire moves. And then Avalog can just rapid spin away the hazards. And then go work spin blocks and sets up stealth rocks. And then we've got Choice Scarf Haxorus, Life Orb, Nido Queen, and Specs Raikou. So yeah, that's the team. Let's try to get a battle really quick, and we are able to get one right away. That is probably not going to be the case next time we try to get one, because there are not too many people playing this tier right now. But anyway, <clears throat> this guy has a Noivern, which somehow is in RU, and this thing is a huge threat, so we are definitely going to need to get Stealth Rocks up right away. He also has an Ampharos, and this could be Mega Ampharos. Um... Between the time I recorded this video and the last bet or video, I have learned of quite a few more Pokemon that are <laughs> actually in these tiers. So, yeah, um, one thing mainly is that Mega Houndoom is in this tier, and also Don Fan is in this tier, so those are both pretty huge things. I'm wondering if he's just gonna go for a water move or just toxic me. Either way, Raikou doesn't really mind being toxic, and I did change this to Hidden Power Ice, but it did not register because I forgot to actually save, so that is a little annoying, but now I'm just going to double into Slow King, predicting that Nido King to come in. Now I'm pretty free to just go for... Actually, I'm going to go for a Toxic because I'm pretty sure he's going to switch here. He really doesn't have any reason to stay in if he does decide to Thunderbolt. And actually... Actually, from Nidoking, it could to it KO me, but there's no way he's going to Oko me, and if he stayed in, he would die. Well, or not die, but take all of his health and damage. Almost all of his health and damage. So I'm predicting some sort of switch into maybe the little Mola, because that could take all my offensive moves pretty well. He also could go into Ampharos. Not quite sure what he's going to do. We shall see. But, uh... In this current tier of RU, Slowking is still... Okay, he goes into Registeel. That's kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to go right into Nidoqueen. Okay, Stealth Rocks. I thought he might be going for like some sort of Thunder Wave or something there, but he did not. <clears throat> and I do have Focus Blast, unfortunately, and not Ice Beam, so that Howlucha can switch in here. But... I'm going to, let's see. Oh, I'm going to sludge wave. Oh, that just no code it. <laughs> For some reason, I thought fighting resisted poison because poison is kind of a weird type offensively, kind of random things resist it. But apparently, Hellwitch does not resist poison, so that life orb sludge wave just took him out. And that's good on me that I predicted that coming in and was able to go it because. Halucha is a ginormous threat, although I do have Slow King to potentially take a hit that still that still could have been bad. But in comes Batman, aka Noivern. These things I think are usually like specs or special scarf, so I'm just gonna go into Slow King. I know I can take one of these. I can actually let's see. At 38%. It could take another one and slack off, which I'm just going to slack off this turn. Yeah, he did just try to kill me, and now I have more health. 
So now I'm free to go for a Toxic as he brings an Ampharos, but I miss, which is very unfortunate. But I do have Golurk and Nido Queen here. And I am just going to bring in Nido Queen. I don't think an HP Ice will kill me. As he does decide to Thunderbolt and Mega Evolve. So Mega Ampharos is in the tier. When I was first looking at the Pokemon in the tier, <clears throat> I wasn't sure if any of the Megas were actually... Like, I knew, like, Ampharos was in the tier, but I didn't know if Mega Ampharos was allowed. So, but apparently you can still use Mega Ampharos and Mega Houndoom in this tier. So, we may be seeing quite a bit of those. And I forgot that this thing was still around. So, that's bad on me, but there's no way he's going to Oko this. <laughs> so, might as well just send it in. And if he keeps, keeps sending in this Batman guy... Oh, that actually could be a problem. So he's just banking on the hurricane hits here, which actually is pretty bad for me because, okay, well, you missed one. So not the worst for me, but he does still have that Nido King there. So I'm actually just going to go right back into Slow King <laughs> and I am able to catch this Nido King on the switch in. Now I'm pretty free to just go for a Scald as I barely live that Thunderbolt because Slowking is just a monster. But now I'm forced to switch out because I'm at pretty low HP. I could go into Haxorus, but he does have plenty of checks to that left. So I'm just going to go into Golurk here. He could predict this, but he does not. And I can just go for a Dynamic Punch. I'm going to go for Dynamic Punch because I know it'll kill him anyway. And in case he brought in the Alola Mola, I could get some sort of uh, confusion hacks on that. But this thing comes back in. I am fine with just staying in and letting it kill me. Okay, still locked into Hurricane. Nido King is dead, so I am free to just Volt Switch around to my heart's content. And he does miss another Hurricane. Uh, not too surprised because Hurricane has like 60 accuracy, so it's basically, basically expected that he's going to be missing about half of them. But the problem is, is that he has a freaking Alola Mola. So I'm thinking I might put Thunderbolt on this Nido Queen because Thunderbolt is pretty good coverage against Slow Kings. And how Lucha is, although Sludge Wave still Okos it. So I don't know why I said that, but yeah, I'm either going to put Thunderbolt or Ice Beam on this thing because this old Mola is just so annoying. But I am just, oh wow, that did no damage. So <laughs> that's great. So Sludge Wave, Life Orb, Sheer Force Sludge Wave just wrecked that thing. And I should have seen that coming. But uh, since Alola Mola is just such a beefy wall, it has no offensive stats. So that waterfall just did zero damage, which is uh, pretty funny. And I'm going to be able to live that too. Because <clears throat> Nidoqueen, the reason why I'm using a Nidoqueen instead of a Nidoking. Nidoqueen basically is comparable to Nidoqueen, or Nidoking, bleh. What is his last Pokemon? Mega Ampharos. Okay, just going to Earth Power. Nidoqueen's special attack is pretty comparable to Nidoking, and Nidoqueen also just has really, really good natural bulk, which just lets it kind of tank through some hits and just muscle through multiple people's Pokemons like that, which is why I really like Nidoqueen over Nidoking. And I'm just more used to using Nidoqueen and RU. And kind of at the end of 5th gen, Nido Queen actually became more popular than Nido King in UU, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, let's just get another one here, and I'm actually actually able to find another one right away. And he has a much more much more standard team here. I actually am probably gonna have some trouble here. Uh, main thing I'm gonna need to watch out for is that fortress, definitely, and. 
Yeah, going to need to wear down the Fortress and the Obama Snow. But actually, if he doesn't have Toxic on Fortress, Golurk should be able to actually deal with it one-on-one -on -one pretty decently. And he doesn't have any uh, ground Pokemon. I'm just going to lead off with Raikou as he leads right off with Fur Alligator called Flinchinator. So I'm just going to be able to freely just Volt Switch around and force that thing to just take damage already. Although this thing is kind of a problem. Although I'm pretty sure Nido Queen is faster, if I can recall correctly. But I should just be able to scare him out here. And I'm just going to go go for a sludge wave. Ah, there we go. He's actually Mega Obama Snow, but I was still faster. So I was able to take out his Weather Abuser turn two, which is extremely good for me. And I have the counter of this thing in the form of Slowking. So, former BL Pokemon, get out of here. I have Slowking. Slowking just n never dies, ever. So, just going to go for a Sclad, thinking he might go into Houndoom. And, yeah, that's good. And since his Hail is still up, and since his item is most likely Houndoomite. Um... Let's see, what should I... I don't really have any switch-ins for this. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Alright, gotta go into Avalug. Oh, he just pursued me. Oh, he's Life Orb Houndoom. Alright, that's just fine. <laughs> um, I thought he was... Does this Slowking not have Regenerator? Oh, it does. I just didn't look like it uh, got HP back there. Um, I thought he was going to be Mega Houndoom, but, uh, <laughs> since he's not, that's much, much easier to deal with, and he just died to Life Orb since he was Life Orb Houndoom, and Life Orb Houndoom is definitely the most viable to set on any, or most viable set to run on anything that is not Mega Houndoom, so there's that, and this guy apparently is just going to stay in here and focus blast me with his, like, Specs Machamp or something. And now he's just trying to flinch me with his flinchinator, but I'm just not going to let that happen. I'm just going to sit here and not die. I am just going to sit in here and not die. Not even going to die to the plus one super effective crunch as in comes the fortress. Okay. I do have a rapid spinner for this thing. Uh, but I'm just going to, let's see. What is that? The champ cure him. I don't remember getting rocks up i did not get rocks up but i'm just gonna go into nido queen uh he does just set up stealth rocks i'm gonna go for earth power just break his sturdy and it will do a shit ton to cure him and machamp and he just stays and takes it anyway just trying to set up his hazards <laughs> even though after this dies he is only gonna have two pokemon left but you know hazards are very very powerful and fortress is not gonna do too much else so you know, if you can get some switches going around, you know, with your last Pokemon, maybe you could do something. And actually setting up, him setting up hazards is going to make it so my Slow King just can't, keeps gaining health <laughs> a bunch. But in comes Kyurem. I'm actually just going to go into Slow King. I want to save my Nido Queen because it is a fighting resist and I am just going to be able to take two Ice Beams. And slack off. I don't know why he went for Ice Beam when he has Dragon moves, which I don't think any of my Pokemon resist. So yeah, he should have just gone for a Dragon move there. But Ice Beam is more powerful than Dragon Pulse against Nido Queen, and it is super effective. So I guess he thought I was just gonna stay in. But if I was him, I would have gone for a Dragon move there. And even though Slow King is an Epic Wall. Uh, it really does not have ways of killing things fast when it's not spec slow king. So I am just going to have to toxic this and then just spam some Psy Shocks here. But uh, hopefully this guy will just forfeit soon because there's no there's no way he's going to kill slow king. Although that thing the guy just put in the chat is making me think that he's uh, <clears throat> not going to give up that easily. But anyway... Let's see. Okay, he is just continuing to Ice Beam me. Don't know why, because it is doing nothing. 
and his last Pokemon is a Specs Machamp, which is <laughs> in no way going to be able to deal with Slowking. Might as well just slack off here because he's going to die to Toxic anyway. <clears throat> and his last is this Machamp. And he has Hidden Power Dark. And that does absolutely nothing, even though it is super effective. <laughs> so, this battle was just <laughs> it was just Slowking. Just stalling out. Well, not stalling out, but just walling like half of this guy's team because it's a freaking slow king and that's what it does is just wall people's teams and switch around and never die so let's get one more we have been able to find battles pretty quickly and there we go so there we go. <laughs> yeah there we go uh this is a very good change from the last video where i was like finding battles for f trying to find battles for five minutes <laughs> anyway this guy has a starmie that is a ginormous threat. <laughs> um, I don't know how that's are you either, but because that thing is still good in the current OU metagame. But anyway, he does not have... Unless his Hunchgrass is Pursuit, he doesn't have too much to deal with Slowking. I am just going to lead off with Raikou, because I do have Hidden Power Grass for the Rhyperior. I think that still Okos it as long as it is not um especially defensive so not too afraid of that thing that is going to be his primary switch in as he actually leads with nido king which could be stealth rocking nido king oh that's awkward <laughs> he's probably gonna go for mega horn i can go into go work that does so much damage <laughs> that is ridiculous he has a spinner so I don't want to set up Stealth Rocks yet. And I think he might predict a Stone Edge. Or, I mean, Earthquake and go into Honchkrow. But he just stays in and Okos me with knockoffs. So he is not Choice Banded. So if that was Choice Banded, that Mega Horn would have done like half my health. Jeez, that is, that is something. That is something indeed. So it does, we can just uh, kill him with an Earth Power here. So it's not too big of a problem. I did get a crit Stone Edge, which is a little unfortunate, but actually Stone Edge has a high critical hit ratio and I crit the Starmie. I think if that wasn't a crit, that would have done like 80 to 90%. <clears throat> and I do have Slow King to switch into it, so not quite sure how much that it did matter but it definitely does suck so <laughs> i do feel a little bad there but i'm gonna toxic as he goes into that <laughs> i should have thought i should have predicted he would go on into that but what are you gonna do so my go lurk's dead my best option is just to go into Nido queen to take the and that still does god a scavalier is just so ridiculously powerful just going to go for a Fire Blast because it hits the Honchkrow also. Holy moly, that hits the <laughs> That not only hits the Honchkrow, that does so much damage to the Honchkrow. And he does have Pursuit Honchkrow. That is something I thought he might have. But I have the counter in Avalog, <laughs> so get out of here. There's nothing you're going to do to me. And he said table. I don't know what that's about. <clears throat> but the problem still remains of that is Gavalier, to be honest. And this thing? That's kind of weird. Oh, okay, that was a good play. I'm just going to go into Avalog to sack it as he pursuits me, which is interesting. Um, He's going to Iron Head so I can go into... Okay, that works too. <laughs> This is when I wish I had it in Power Eyes, but maybe he'll go into Rhyperior. Yes, he does. <laughs> so able to Oko that with the Hidden Power Grass, which is why Hidden Power Grass is better in some situations than HP Ice, because it is able to Oko the Rhyperior, but it does neutral damage against this. So there is that. All right. Anyway... <clears throat> This is a bit of a nuisance. I'm going to probably have to sack something here, to be honest. Do, do, do. 
Uh, I'll actually see how much Earth Power does to Slow King. Okay, that does way too much damage. <laughs> All right. That probably won't Oko Haxorus, though. But I need Haxorus, because I probably won't be able to Oko him. This is pretty tough here, to be honest. So let's just sack Avalog. There's no, <laughs> it's not really going to be too useful against anything else. So let's just sack it. Now we can bring in Haxorus and <clears throat> just go for some Earthquake. That does not do very much damage to Polyrath. But since this Polyrath is in, this guy is predicting that very well. So, yeah, I'm just going to let him kill me. This guy pretty much won this battle. He definitely outplayed me multiple times here, and I had no good answers to the Escavalier, so. And the Nido King after my Slow King got weakened, so. Well played to him. Uh, my last hope is just to spam Outrage. It actually does still do quite a bit of damage to Escavalier. It does like 30% or something to Escavalier. Uh, the ones I faced at least. And actually that like resets my Outrage, if I'm not mistaken. And I'll live the circle throw. <laughs> is Am I still going to win this? I am still going to win this. That is absurd. <laughs> that is completely absurd. Unless I get like min damage on this. <clears throat> what the frick just happened? <laughs> okay, well honestly I should have lost that. Because uh, he definitely outplayed me by double switching into the Escavalier multiple times when I switched in, <laughs> in my slow king. And here's the maker of the team, Sev himself. <laughs> and he thought that battle was very epic. That actually was a very epic battle, that, that victory I got there. So definitely thanks to Sev for making the team. His link will be in the description. And yeah, <laughs> uh, next video I am going to have... A much more serious RU team. I'm probably going to have a Dawn fan, either Mega Amphrus or Mega Hound Doom, and some more stuff. We'll see. But that'll be in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you can leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all later. Peace.